Hi, welcome to my channel. For those of you this is your first time watching my videos, uh, my name is Jordan Lonergan. Not that I've really made many YouTubes yet anyways, but today I just wanted to talk about sun sticks. What are sun sticks, you might ask? Basically, they're just sunscreens in stick format. And I think they're a really cool invention. When I started getting into skincare, um, sunscreens was 100% the hardest thing for me to find something that I liked. When I started using sunscreen, it was always really hard that I couldn't find one that fit my skin type or one that layered under makeup well or on, just on top of all my other products that I was using. And that was really frustrating because you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day, but it's like, why is everyone telling me to wear one, but like, I can't find one that's either not super pricey or I don't have to ship overseas, you know, because a lot of them that I'd go to look at the drugstore for, I couldn't find any that layered well. And even some ones that I would spend more money on, like, they just never really suited me that well. I felt like other people it would work for, but then me it wouldn't work for. So again, I guess like finding products for you is just a process. Um, but hopefully maybe these recommendations will help you out. And I think that again, that these do work for me, but they may not work for you, but I do recommend them if my opinion means anything to you at this point. But yeah, skincare shouldn't have to be like a very stressful process. It kind of was for me, but that was because of other stuff going on in my life that I might talk about at some point. But yeah, here are my product recommendations. So the first one I have here today is the Natural Perfection Sunstick from AHC. So this is the first one. And this was the first sunstick I was introduced to. So there's a channel that I watch on YouTube. Her name is Eunice, um, but her channel is Uni Ani. She recommended this product and so I got it because, I don't know, I really trust her because she's helped me learn so much about skincare and like she has, has like such an honest and like great personality. And she recommended this product so I got it. So you can see here it says PA++++. And the PA is just a rating for the UVA rays, which is the aging rays. So I'll show you the actual sun stick, and mine's almost out. There's the product, as you can see, like that's the line where the product ends, and I'm pretty much out. Um, it's like a translucent yellow color. And what you do to put it on is that I usually just like warm it up on my hand. You basically just swipe up like this, and like follow your whole face. You could like go over it a couple times, um, and it doesn't, it has a little bit of a scent. I never thought of it as irritating. I'll show you, I'm just putting it like on my hand right here. And it's good, it like glides on your skin really well. Uh, I don't know if you can see. So it does leave it a little bit more like shiny and like moisturized than before. Um, it is a chemical sunscreen, and that's why it's like more clear. And I'll list the ingredients right here of what the chemical filters are. And sometimes for sensitive skin, chemical filters can be a little bit irritating. But I never really had a problem with this one. The only thing I don't like about this product is that it is, does make you a little bit more shiny. Um, which isn't a bad thing, I just would use it more... I feel like if you have oily skin or just anything, it'd be better to use it more in the winter time. Sunsticks are just really easy to apply throughout the day. You can technically use them over makeup. Um, what they usually say to do is to, instead of going in like swiping motion, they want you to just like dab it onto your skin, which does take a little bit more time. But yeah, I noticed when I was wearing this and I'd walk to class, it made me sweat a little bit more. And I don't know why, um, maybe because it is more of an oily product, that's why I'm saying, but like when I'd go about my daily life, I'd be fine. But for some reason, walking to class, whereas like usually I wouldn't sweat that much like on my face, but like for some reason, it just happened. Um, like I can wear it like doing other things, but like for some reason like just walking like a mile to class like that just my face was not having it. Um, maybe because it like it does create more of like a layer on your face, I'm not really sure. This one is waterproof and sweatproof, um, so I guess, you know, at least it was sweatproof. So yeah, it's still good for summer obviously to, uh, if you're going swimming or to the beach, it's really easy to reapply. You're supposed to reapply technically like every two to three hours, so that would definitely be an easy thing to just throw in your bag and go. And the next one I also have is from the brand AHC. It is their Natural Perfection Fresh Sunstick. And so out of the two, I actually prefer this one. Um, again, it's SPF 50, PA++++. So this one, instead of the clear, it is actually a white, and you would think that it wouldn't go onto your skin very well. It doesn't leave any white cast because again it does have chemical filters um, and it does go on really well. 
and it has more of a powdery finish which I really enjoy so it's not as oily on your face it doesn't look as shiny it didn't make me like sweaty or anything like that one did for some reason um, this one does just feel lighter overall the only thing I liked better between these two um, I like this one better because my face does get a little bit sensitive so like the act of dragging it across my face kind of makes my cheeks red like but it dies down in like a minute. This one still glides on really well but I noticed that this one just went on a little bit better and irritated my face a little bit less. I would definitely still choose this one over this one just because I like the finish of this so much better. Next I have Super Goop's Glow Stick and this is it right here. So this one you twist off. And Super Goop is actually a brand in the US, which is great. It is a little bit more pricey though, which is what I don't like. So this is what it looks like right here. It's just a clear thing. And what you, instead of uh, twisting it like you do on these, like right here, there's like a dial that you use to twist it up. This one you have to push. So again, this is what this one looks like. And out of all of them, I'd say this one, I don't know if you can see it or not, this one was the most oily to me. Um, and it like, it feels the most oily. But the only thing, when I was using it and what I, I did basically what I did with the other ones, I just swiped up like this. But then when I was watching some other people use it, they would like rub it into their skin a little bit. So I think that if I used it the, like that way, it would feel a little bit better. Super Goop, which is really cool, has like, sunscreen serums and like makeup primer and stuff like that so they actually have, like show people using multiple steps of sunscreen so this can just be used on your cheeks chin like forehead anywhere that you want like a glow or something that's what they show people doing and I think that this is would be really great for that in general just because it does give you more of a shine so instead of like using a highlighter or you want a more natural look just put it on like the apples of your cheeks or like stuff like that and it would definitely um give you like a nice dewy look and on a lot of Korean sunscreens they'll say PA that's where they say the PA plus 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 but on American sunscreens it just says broad spectrum so it's the same thing when you look for sunscreens you always want it to be broad spectrum sunscreen just to prevent against UVA UVB but most of the time it'll just say PA on those where ours, ours will say um, broad spectrum all right and lastly I have a sunscreen that I have been using lately um, which is the Carezone Derma Repair Sika Sunstick. And I've really been enjoying this. It is actually a mineral sunscreen, whereas all the ones before that I reviewed have chemical filters. This one is the only one with mineral filters, and those include titanium dioxide and zinc. This one, again, just has, you take it off, has a little dial that you do this, and that's what it looks like. And so once again, you just swipe it. And so this one, I would say, just like a tiny bit like brighter um i wouldn't say it's noticeable at all but yeah it's only noticeable to me just because like i'm the most familiar with my face so what i do with this one is that when i like put it on if i see any like streaks or anything i will just like blend it out and it like just blends perfectly and this one is amazing for sensitive skin and this one also has ingredients like calamine and Sika which are really good for calming down your skin. And this is SPF 47 PA++++. And it's layered well over my other products. It's layered well under makeup. Um, I would I would really recommend this one. All right, so that's it for my sunstick review. I hope you enjoyed it. I have tried a couple other ones. These have been my favorite so far. And yeah, I wanna film a makeup video soon. I tried filming it the other day, but it didn't really go well. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll have that up soon. And I shall see you later. Bye.